iPhones, Apple, Eve eating the apple off of the tree, the world getting kicked out of the garden. Coincidence? I think not. The new iPhones and the Mark of the Beast. Let's get to the show. Now listen here. I just tricked you. Christians, listen to this random person on the internet and stop listening to random people on the internet because I just tricked you. Let's get to the show. Today we're talking about false prophecy, Bible literacy, and Bible prophecy and how not to get tricked in these last days and got you to watch this video because Eve never ate an apple from the tree. It doesn't say the fruit. <laughs> the Bible only says fruit. So we're talking about today, Christian's unhealthy appetite for end time prophecies, conspiracy theories, signs, wonders, demons, and all this other weird stuff. Because what we need in this last days and end times is discernment, not skepticism, mysticism, or being superstitious. Because we need discernment so you don't get tricked by a random person on the internet. Three ways of how not to be deceived. So number one, the first way not to be deceived in the last days or by the new iPhone, which is actually just gonna be like all the other iPhones, but with a better camera, is number one, is by reading the Bible and not being superstitious, nor chasing after dreams and signs, the supernatural, demons, the occult, all that weird stuff and Bible and prophetic words. So the Bible tells us to watch and to pray, but it even says with the signs that you see in the last days, it's not yet. But Paul actually warns us to not be superstitious like the Gentiles. And the problem with signs is, is that the devil is going to come masking as an angel of light, performing signs and wonders himself if he even can trick the very elect. So the Bible says what true discernment is and how we don't get tricked and deceived is by Jesus. This is John 10. Jesus says that he is the door for his sheep. Jesus says, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life, I am the door. Any that enter by me will go in and out and have pasture and my sheep hear my voice, the voice of a stranger they will not hear. He says, he says, all that have come before me are robbers and thieves, but I am the good shepherd. My sheep hear my voice and a voice of a stranger they will not hear. If you are a true believer and a true follower of Christ, you know what the Holy Spirit sounds like, you know what Jesus sounds like, you know what the Father sounds like, you'll be able to recognize him. But if you're not, you'll be deceived. So that's how you know the sheep from the goats. Next, the Bible says that the Holy Spirit will bring to your remembrance all that you have heard of Jesus and all that you have read, and he will lead you into all truth and will teach you all things. So number two, way not to be tricked and not to be deceived, read your Bible. Lea do Biblia. Read your Bible. So what the Bible says is that the Holy Spirit will bring to remembrance all that you have heard of Jesus and all that you have read in scripture. And also it says that the Holy Spirit will teach you all things for he is a teacher, he's an advocate, and he is a helper and he will lead you into all truth. And the scripture says, my people perish for a lack of knowledge. You'll be tricked and deceived in the last days because you don't know the scriptures. You do err because you do not know the scriptures. And then number three, third way not to be deceived and tricked in the last days is to watch and pray that you do not enter into the temptation of offense. And this comes through the bitter root of unforgiveness and offense that is written in Hebrews 12. It says people's love will wax cold in the last days and they will be offended at Jesus because of the gospel and because of persecution. So it says that we are to watch and pray that we do not enter into the temptation and to offense 
so that our hearts are not hardened. Because know that the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. And so our hearts must be malleable and intimate with the Holy Spirit. And this is how we can have communion fellowship with the Lord and we are not tricked or deceived. So we need to watch and pray that we do not enter into temptation because the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. And so you need to fight the temptation and beat the temptation to watch videos of prophecy. So you need to beat and overcome the temptations of watching end time prophecies and last day prophecies and get into a church that is meeting in person and not forsake the gathering of the brethren because that's scripture, that's the Bible, that's how you not get deceived. It says that he who is planted into the house of the Lord will flourish, not he who watches videos. You need to overcome the temptation of the spirit of fear that your heart does not enter into timidity. For we do not have the spirit of fear, but we overcome by the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony because we don't have the spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. So you need to watch and pray that you do not enter into the temptation of the bondage of the fear of death that Jesus freed us from, but closed so many churches during the pandemic. So know that the spirit bear witness of himself and he who started a good work in you is faithful and just and true to complete it. It is Jesus who lives on the inside of you, the fullness of the Godhead. And so you have the fullness of the father, the son and the Holy Spirit living on the inside of you that you be not deceived or manipulated because the Holy Spirit resides on the inside of you and the Holy Spirit reveals all things. So the only thing that we need to be mindful of as Christians who are in a body of believers and who read their Bible regularly, praying and fasting and studying to show ourselves approved, working out our own salvation with fear and trembling is that we enter not in self-deception. So if anyone is tricked or deceived or manipulated, it's only because you have first tricked yourself by not believing the scriptures and not obeying the Bible. So those are the three ways how not to be tricked and how not to be deceived in these last days. So listen to this random person on the internet. Stop listening to random people on the internet. So thanks for watching the video. If it has been helpful to you, make sure to like, comment, share, and to subscribe. So make sure to watch the next two videos of number one, why I haven't gotten the COVID vaccine and I'm not getting it. And number two, how the COVID vaccine and cryptocurrency will birth the mark of the beast. Bye.